Okay. I'd explain the low frequency communication as best I can. The force from Star Wars, they call it. But it's. I see the force as low frequency repetition, like erosion. Thoughts are electromagnetic waves or are um, translation of electromagnetic wave. Waves or wave, however you want to look at it, like the ocean is one big wave that's constantly shaping, or it's a lot of different waves. It's not really different things, it's just one thing in different shapes. So we'll call it wave. So thought is a translation of electromagnetic wave. Being said, from what I know about electromagnetic radiation, when it barrages something, it wears it down, the thing, like water lapping up on a rock over a million years. Electricity is the same sort of thing. If you run electricity through something for a long time, it wears the thing down. So I believe the thoughts do the same thing with other people, other people's minds. And if you repeat a thought in your mind, or in words, it has different kinds of power. Seven times is very powerful. It's like a, a reset button, kind of, or a, a reset towards what was repeated. Like if you repeat, dogs are healthy. Dogs are healthy. It greatly impacts it. It makes it more so in other people's minds, in the minds of whatever has a mind. Ants, birds, dogs. So, the way to use the force is to trust your thought. This is one thing about writing that I realized. When I read, I'm actually saying what I'm reading in my mind. This is a receipt. It says, as of today, you have accumulated zero of seven towards your free signature cafe sandwich. Exclamation point. So if I'm reading this, I'm speaking the words in my mind as I go. I see the symbols and I focus the, the word as. I see the symbol and I think of today. I focus it. The thing is, when you're reading something and focusing the word in your mind, as you're reading the word in your mind, you're saying it in your mind as you see the symbols, you're translating it to a thought, that is becoming the thought you're sending. So depending on what you're reading, you're sending that thought. You're emanating that thought, which is why I hadn't been reading. You know, I read some things. I'm very selective about what I read, but why? I kind of took a hiatus from reading. Uh, for like a year and a half, for a year. It wasn't that I wasn't reading, I was reading comments and Wikipedia. And specifically, I read a book called Ishmael, and I would read bits in here, and I read a lot of articles. I read a lot still, I guess, but I was, became hypersensitive about reading because it's very manipulative. It, it functions different. Sound, when you hear words, you're not thinking the words as I'm saying them. You're listening to them. It's like going into your mind. It's like washing over you, but... If I wrote something and showed it to you, you read it, it would be a different kind of communication. You would be focusing that thought that was written. So I'd be putting it down, you'd be picking it up and focusing it. When I speak it, it's just coming into you. It's very different. So the force is the focused words. You can do it without text. You can write a book in your mind. Your mind is a blank slate, it's a blank page, and you can focus the words onto it. You can speak any conversation. You can go up to someone that you just met and focus the thought, I am hot, I am attractive, and trust it, and then it emanates out. People start to respond as if that was read in their mind, as if it was into them somehow. It's not as direct as if you said words. If you went up to someone and said, I am hot, they have a much more immediate heightened reaction. But when it's low frequency... It's a very subtle response, and if you repeat it, I'm hot. I've been repeating, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot and cool. It's hot, it's cool, it's cool, it's hot and cool. 
in my mind for periods of time and noticing the temperature change in the, surrounds, the surroundings, the surrounding people, whatever, the situation. People immediately, when I start, when I start focusing, it's hot, people immediately turn to me and focus at me. Like it's like I'm, I'm heating up and they're like, ooh, like a fire. And when I focus, it's cool, people calm down. It's real. So the speaking is the thoughts, but turning up the volume, kind of. It's the body vibrating faster to create a higher pitch, so the thought then becomes uh, audible. So it's, and then it becomes like this. So there's the basic thought, which is very low frequency, very long wavelength. I believe it can travel through solid objects, travel longer distances like AM radio, but probably even longer than AM radio. Then there's verbalization, which is short range. There's like a sound range. You can like heighten it and put a lot of force behind the, low, the higher frequency, but it's still a short range burst of communication. And, but it has a more intensified reaction, so it's like a, a short range explosion as opposed to a long range laser. Then there's light. <laughs> I don't know if we can turn our thoughts. Like a high frequency sound becomes you begin to see it. And I've had situations where people were like screaming and I started to like phase out and kind of feel like I was, I guess, seeing it, but not really. My eyes weren't really... It's like a feeling, you know, it was like a different feeling. That's some future thing. I know these thoughts are kind of like out there. They're kind of extreme and new and and I think it's hard because it's hard for me because it's hard to live life with with these innovative thoughts when a lot of people that I'm around mo most people don't seem to have these thoughts or get it. Some people resonate with it, but it's like a real slow process. Like I can only tell somebody a little bit about it or a lot about it for a short period of time, and they're like, okay, okay. Then they don't want to hear any more about it. They want to go back to what they know, what they're comfortable with. Then like as time goes by, they may be like, okay, I'm kind of interested in what I heard last week. I kind of want to hear a little more about it. I can tell them a little bit more about it. It's kind of frustrating because I have, like, I've kind of worked it out in my mind how it works. I kind of know everything about this. Although I'm always learning new things, I've got it down to an art. I, I can, in words, shift between a thought and words. And I can focus on repeating it. I can do it a certain number of times. Four times and seven times is very powerful. I stay away from six, although it's very powerful. It seems like it's wildly powerful. Five, I don't do because of the pentagram. And six, because of 666, the power of the, the, power of the demon, the, the destructive force of three multiplied. Three is very powerful, but it's not sustainable. Four is effective and offering, which I use that. Seven is very good. Seven is very, it's like a washing away and offering a little bit of what was repeated. Eight sends it spinning into oblivion. Eight is like infinity. Eight is like it, almost as if it never happened. When I focus a thought eight times, it's as if it never happened. It seems like it. But I had the thought, but then it doesn't really have the impact of seven. And when I do it seven times and then wait, people are having like this heated response to it until I say it the eighth time, and then they're cool and they move on to the next thing. And if I never say it the eighth time, it's like that. It's a powerful resonance. Twice is not very effective. It's, it's very easy to break. If I focus a thought twice, people look at me, they have a moment of registering, and then they go on with what they were going to say. And once, of course, is a normal thing. You can speak, rather than speak any words, you can and have a normal conversation like that. Honestly, birds do it. Ants do it. It's just thought, it's simple thought. They don't have the, the ability to resonate, highly, highly resonate, highly frequent it to sound like words like we do. This human body is very capable of expanding and stretching the electromagnetic input. Then, you know, once it comes out, it's up to us to take it and induce it back into the vibration. Like we hear a sound and we take it and then turn it back into the thought. Someone has a thought, turns it into a sound, we hear the sound, turn it back into a thought. Anduction and induction. Well, so that's that, huh? The Force 101.
I don't know if it's a force or if it's like pulling it to let it be what you want it to be. You can use force. You can force people. But Okay, so like if you're making eye contact with someone, you're forcing them. It's like you're sending it at them, you're tightening them to be a certain way. But if you look away and you're doing it, it's more of an offering and allowing people to take what they want. It's much more passive and probably better for humanity. I haven't been making eye contact with people and focusing thought much lately. I tried it for a little while and it had a very impactful, intense response. Um, but I gotta let people catch up. I gotta let humanity catch up to it because otherwise I'm gonna ostracize myself and it's not gonna work. I think if something catastrophic happens, people will come rally around me because they know I'll be able to keep them alive. If it's a society without money, I understand that very well. When it comes to money, I don't like compromising my ideals, my beliefs for money. I do it a little bit. I try and do it in, in sub substantial ways, sustainable ways, ways of, br I like bringing food to people or using it, my power to help people eat, however that happens. If it's working in a restaurant, if it's working in a camp, sustaining in some way. I probably like growing food too. I'm going to start growing food. Um, but until something really catastrophic happens, I'm kind of just like a novelty. This whole way of thinking is like a novelty. It's like, it's neat, but I don't need to do that when I can get up and go to work, make some money, come home, eat, buy some girl something nice so that she'll have sex with me, forget it ever happened the next day, rinse, repeat. Like, until it's like every moment is we have to survive, we have to move because we can't sit in the same place because the world is shifting fast. When that happens, when we gotta move, we'll move. And I'll see you around.